I'm Sophie and I'm doing a PhD in linguistics. Um, I chose the School of English because um, when I first came here on an open day, um, back at undergraduate level, um, they were really friendly. Uh, all the students seemed to have a um, really enjoyable experience here. The assessments were really varied as well, so um, there's different ways you could present um, your research and there's different ways you can be assessed on it as well. Um, and everyone seemed to, rather than the academics talking about themselves a lot, they were talking about the students um, and just generally um, really bigging up Sheffield as well as a city. So that's why I chose this School of English in particular. Um, so I was interested in linguistics back in um, A-level. Um, so I was doing a lot more literary linguistics, so analysing language within text. Um, I then did some more research about um, the science of language and how the brain structures language um, and more about uh, how children acquire language and second language learners and that's the sort of area I started to get more interested in. Um, so I applied to go to university and it just all carried on from there. I stayed here for my master's and now I'm doing my PhD so that's where it took me. Um, so I wanted to pursue a PhD because I knew I wanted to go into the academia side of things um, and it was a necessary step I needed to take in order to become a doctor and get um, a job in academia, preferably lecturing. Um, but also I really wanted to pursue an area of research that I was really interested in. Um, the types of skills that I'm gaining in my PhD um, are definitely, to start off with, uh, independent research skills. So you do quite a lot of reading and trying to sort of work through that is quite a challenging task. Um, but you definitely start to um, pick out the most relevant points. Um, so you definitely start to learn how to go through your research in a methodical way. Um, and also you learn a lot of organisation and leadership skills so you can choose to sort of run conferences um, or other public engagement opportunities um, so I'm really getting involved in that in the first year of my PhD and just trying to like meet new people um, so you get a lot of interaction skills as well um, and yeah just learning how to sort of disseminate your research in a way that is um, accessible for lots of different speakers um, and also like people within linguistics as well so trying to adapt your research to fit different audiences. Um, my research is about um, historical linguistics and language acquisition so the intersection between the both. Um, so I'm looking at how um, second language speakers in particular, they can influence language change. Um, so I'm looking at a specific change in the history of English and how the um, history of English was enriched by other languages. Um, I think my research will hopefully take me to um, interact with lots of different people across the country um, and sort of get involved in lots of different conferences where I can meet people doing similar research to me and hopefully um, other audiences as well so um, really teaching even like young children or people that are interested in linguistics from a young age um, that it's a really worthwhile area of research um, and just sort of yeah just putting the message out there that language underpins everything and um, linguistics is like a really worthwhile area of research. So the most surprising thing about a PhD for me was the amount of people that you meet um, and the amount of friends that you have because I always thought that a PhD would be a really isolating experience but I've actually met quite a lot of people, um, we go to the pub now and again, um, we get involved in different things so there's definitely a sense of community um, that I've not really had for my undergraduate and masters um, because everyone's going through a similar process and everyone understands um, the how sometimes it can be laborious like research and everything so everyone understands where, where you're coming from. Um, any tips? So my tips for a new PhD student would be to not get involved in too much because um, you can be tempted to get involved in a lot of different projects. Um, there's a lot of things, exciting things you can get involved in but to really select the few that you would be interested in um, and not feel too pressured to get involved in lots of different things. Um, but it's also good to put yourself out there and make new friends and really try hard with the people around you. So um, it would be a really good idea to apply for a desk um, because that's where I've met a lot of my friends in my office. Um, start to interact with people on different years of the PhD as well so that they can give you some reassurance about where you're heading um, and yeah that's what I was to say. Um, 
and also tips for applying for a PhD as well so really um, contact the department that you're going to be um, hopefully applying for, um, really find a supervisor, look at their research and how your research fits into their, their research. <laughs>